There's a new crop of Kennedys looking to join the family business. The energy, the faith, the devotion. It's one of President John F. Kennedy's most enduring legacies, his call for Americans to serve. Ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. It inspired millions to join the Peace Corps, enlist, and run for office, including his own children and grandchildren. His daughter Caroline, home after serving as President Obama's ambassador to Japan, hasn't ruled out following in her father's footsteps to the Senate and maybe even the White House. The fact that people would come up to me every day and say, you know, I got involved in my community because of your father's inaugural speech. They were so inspired by President Kennedy's vision of service and of American leadership uh, that, that I think that really kept him alive. JFK's great nephew, Joseph Kennedy III, is already serving in Congress, where he's taken up health care, the signature cause of his great uncle, Senator Ted Kennedy. I was struck last night by a comment uh, that I heard made by Speaker Ryan, where he called this repeal bill, quote, an act of mercy. With all due respect to our speaker, he and I must have read different scripture. The one that I read calls on us to feed the hungry, to clothe the naked, to shelter the homeless, and to comfort the sick. And on the campaign trail now is Chris Kennedy, John F. Kennedy's brother Bobby's son. He launched his campaign for Illinois governor in February by invoking his family's legacy. They embrace the notion that we're all in this together, that our country is the land of opportunity. That's the country I want for my kids. And who knows, even younger Kennedys may be eyeing public office too. JFK's granddaughter Rose, who bears a striking resemblance to her grandmother Jackie, appeared in a video this week commemorating the 100th anniversary of her grandfather's birth. I'm inspired by my grandfather's sense of equality, his courage in naming the injustices in American society. It ought to be possible, in short, for every American to enjoy the privileges of being American without regard to his race or his color. But we are still faced with tremendous inequality and injustice. And all eyes are on Jack Kennedy's grandson, also named Jack, who is studying the former president's legacy carefully. My favorite speech of his is his speech that he gave at Rice University um, explaining to America why we should go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. And in that speech, he said, um, that great challenges are actually great opportunities. So I think it's important to remember that those are opportunities and that we can rise to the occasion if we choose good leadership. So will he run? And I'm inspired by my family's legacy of public service. It's something that is, uh, I'm very proud of, um, but I'm still trying to make my own way, figure things out, and uh, so we'll, I stay tuned.